Hey friends, Coach Biggs here. I want to share with you one of my favorite tools and five ways that it could reduce injuries and increase quality of life. Balance, coordination, joint stability and strength, range of motion and body awareness. All of these will improve tremendously with a very simple tool. Let's go ahead and get started. So first you wanna take that stick and I'm gonna place it on my chest, right on that sternum. And we're gonna reach all the way out. Palms up, crawl that hand out. And what we wanna do is create tension. We're gonna to try to bring our hands together, squeezing that stick together in five, four, three, two, one. Now keep that tension in between the hands. We're gonna pick up that right hand, rotate to the left, drive that right hand down, picking up the left hand. Slow and control, the slower the better. That's going to create that body awareness and you'll notice that as we go through more of the routine how this is going to teach you how to operate this machine that we call a body. Big circles keep tension in between those hands. This is improving that range of motion in three, two, one. All right, I like to re-grip now because my shoulders are opened up a little bit. And now I'm going to reverse, so I'm going to go backwards, reaching back as far as I can. I'm going to drive that right hand, bringing that left arm up as far as I can, and rotate. By keeping tension in between the hands, you're going to create that joint stability and strength. Big circles. The slower, the better. And three, two, one. One, excellent, good job. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the stick and put it behind our back in the crooks of the elbow, right up underneath the shoulder blade, and we're gonna push our hands forward, forcing thoracic extension. We spend a lot of time in our society in spinal flexion. So what we wanna do is force extension. When we're in flexion right there, that creates a lot of um, tension on the neck, shoulder, and back. So this is gonna help improve your posture. So let's go ahead, put that stick back in the elbows, and from here, push the hands forward, and we're gonna do rotations. So this is gonna not only improve your posture, this is perfect spinal alignment, but it's also gonna open up that lumbar. Excellent, good job. Couple more here. All right, so the next movement we're gonna do is one of the most important movements that we could do as a human being is a hip hinge. We do everything as a hip hinge from picking up a laundry basket, um, yard work, changing a tire, lifting weights at a gym, um, helping somebody up off the ground. Hip hinge, very vital, very important movement. So what we wanna do is push our hands forward, forcing that thoracic extension, perfect for spinal alignment. And from here, what I want you to do is grip the floor with your toes and pretend you're trying to rip that floor apart with your toes. Push those knees out. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna engage the glutes and making sure that you get proper power distribution to each side of your body and also protect that lower back when you pick up any type of object. So pushing the hands forward, forcing that thoracic extension, push, grip the floor and push those knees out. Now what I want you to do is hip hinge forward. So right up underneath the belly button is right where you're gonna be hinging at. Pause about 45 or um, 90 degrees in the hips, whichever is more comfortable for you, and go up slow and controlled. That's the important part. That part's gonna create body awareness. And what I want you to be aware of is your hamstrings working. I want you to feel that tension, that load on the hamstrings and the glutes. That's the proper place where that load should be. Push those knees out, push the hands forward, and that's gonna take the load off your spine, your erectors. And then what I want you to do is see the logo on my shirt. I want you to make sure that that logo is going forward and your eyes are forward. I'll show you why. When a lot of people look down at an object and their shoulders start to round right away and you pick up an object, you start rounding your back, that's gonna transfer that load to your low back. Not a good day. One day it's gonna be an injury. All right, second most important uh, movement human being could do is a squat. So we're gonna put the stick in the same place and we're gonna push our hands forward, grip the floor with your toes, push your knees out, and then you're gonna push your butt back. And we wanna go slow and control. So the tempo is gonna be about three seconds 
down, pause one second, so like one Mississippi, and then three seconds up. Now I really want you to feel the load in the quadriceps on top, so the muscles on top of your leg. Take your time, create that body awareness. So you wanna make sure that you're priming that body and getting it ready before you put a load under it. You wanna make sure that you're using the appropriate muscles. All right, good. The next one, what we're gonna do is improve our balance and our coordination. So we're gonna work on single leg hip hinge. So we're gonna take the stick at 12 o'clock, drive about 10% strength into the floor that creates stability. Now the same side the stick is on is a leg that I'm gonna be picking up. So it's in my right hand, I'm gonna transfer the weight over to my left leg and it's gonna go into flexion. And then I'm gonna take that heel, push it across the room into extension and then bringing that chest down and pause slow and controlled you should feel that hamstring engage and what we're doing is creating stability in that ankle knee and hip joint bring that knee up as high as you can and you're just working within your balance so it doesn't matter about your range of motion as much as it matters that you're balancing on that left leg that anchor leg now push that heel out right here and squeeze that glute Excellent, good job. Couple more here. Push that leg all the way out. Now, if you want a little bit extra challenge, you could pick that stick up off the ground and then you'll really feel those fast twitch muscles engaging, increasing that balance. Excellent. So these these routine right here will increase that balance and your coordination is gonna help prevent you from getting a fall which has an injury incurring which will help with your quality of life uh, if you have any questions or you want me to cover anything please put it in the box like and subscribe i'll catch you guys on the